just so glad we have these winds from behind. It goes up to 33, then 31, 33. You have to like survive, you just have to last today. We looked at the weather facts and saw this big low pressure system. Just hold up for another few days, come on. We were already level with the eye of the storm. If it gets much stronger than this, we'll hope to. I wasn't sure if it was going to make it, it was so windy. So I like your setup here, Drake. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got my laptop right here, a couple of hard drives right here, and a cookbook right here, a log book right here, and this little, little case right here, and that prevents anything from moving sideways. <laughs> Works pretty well. That's cool. Because otherwise, you know, if any of these things wasn't braced in, they'd just go flying across the table. Mm hmm Do you ever consider like blue tech? On, on the bottom of a computer or something like that. What's that? Blue tack. Blue tack. Yeah, it's basically like a, it's like a malleable, sticky oh, yeah. thing where you like stick it and you can put yeah, things on yeah, walls yeah, yeah. or. I see. Yeah, I, ha I have seen that. No, I never thought of that. Have you ever done that? Have you ever put that on? Not on the boat. I haven't done it on a boat. I normally do it with duct tape and like bolts and nuts paper, and stuff. Paper tack. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> you know, when I towed that boat to Bermuda and then we uh, we collided and, yeah. and it changed the course of my whole life. I saw this in the consignment store and I had to buy it. <laughs> Great. That's going to be like a profile picture for Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should be, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to get in because it's kind of windy. Jesus. Jesus, let me get in. That's it, we're home to. Right, light is on. Listening to channel 16. I think the best thing for us to do right now is sleep. If anything goes wrong, we'll hear it. Okay. Uh, we'll check. The horizon every 25 minutes. Yeah, we've got over a hundred miles to go towards the closest point of Greenland before uh, icebergs are gonna become any kind of an issue. 100 miles. So we're clear of icebergs here. 
it's a little too windy to sail. We'll just hove to and wait it out and hopefully it won't be days. How are you doing? Good. Good. Yeah. Get up the adrenaline going on. Yeah, that's just for excitement and adventure. There you go. <laughs> the sky looks amazing. Yeah. I think the best thing you can do right now is just get in your berth and sleep if you can. Just take it easy otherwise. The alarm's gonna go off every 20 minutes and uh, yeah. I'm on watch. <laughs> so I'll check it. So this is more comfortable. You know, you know what to expect from this kind of motion. Hey Mo, we're home to you. And I'm eating your leftovers. It'd be a good idea for me to get the next weather faxes. Almost made it. Three more days. We would have been there. been ho to for the last 10 hours and uh, I'm just waking up things have calmed down or uh, ho to through the night uh, in wind succeeding 30 knots steady and rough seas too much to even sail downwind in so we ho to and everything was was uh, was bearable and we all sort of went to sleep is nice. You can see on the radar here that we drifted 30 miles. Let's see. Let's zoom in. Shows our, our track right there. There's San Juan, and then it just got way too windy. <coughs> so we hove to on a starboard tack, assuming that the low pressure system that was causing all of this south west and or south winds was around here the winds were clocking around it counterclockwise so we got on a starboard tack hove to which slowly carried us away from the center and out to here we're now 267.9 nautical miles away from the harbor in Pamut almost due north so time to get this boat back on course See our U.S. flag has survived the night. I wasn't sure if it was going to make it. It was so windy. I thought it was going to get tattered. Yeah, we left the cockpit a big mess of lines. I didn't care though. I just wanted to get everybody down below as soon as we got the boat hove to. Uh, and it's pretty ugly out there. It's cold and very gray and damp. It's not raining. Winds are 17 to 20 knots right now, true, which is doable as opposed to 30 plus knots. I'm just making myself a cup of coffee. And I have not woken the crew. I'll let them sleep a little bit longer. Maybe I can get us on course without having to start the engine. We got a double reefed main up and a staysail. As you can see, the staysail is back. Dude, your hair looks like Billy Idol, man. No, don't change it. I don't want to get it on camera. <laughs> nice day for a fight, baby. <laughs> 
How'd you sleep? Man, I was out for the count. Yeah, for hours and hours and hours. Really, like, I only, like, I heard you just doing the thing there, and then I shit was like, I'll go help him put the banner on. And I'm like, <laughs> too late, innit? <laughs> oh, man. Guess yeah. what time it is. Oh, it's probably like tomorrow or something stupid like that. It's 7.37 a.m. Uh, so, 7, yeah, that's like 10 hours so to approximately. That was brilliant. <laughs> Man, it was like... Oh, it was great. The great thing about hoving too is it, you know, it gives the boat a rest from working so hard and being tensioned so, in so many ways over tension in so many ways and just go into the state where it's much easier on the boat and much easier on, on us. Moving at about two to two and a half to yeah. three knots um, in a northeasterly direction towards Greenland. And uh, so I woke up this morning and I made some coffee and looked at the wind and figured I could do it. First I took the chasel back in so we just had the main up and uh, and then with just the main up and not having to deal with the staysail, I was able to get the boat approximately on course downwind. And then I came upwind so that we wouldn't drive. And then I let the main out all the way. And then I just ran up with the preventer and tied it, got back, turned the back the boat back downwind, back on course, and then put out the jib. We are pretty much doing what we were doing before, almost due north, a little bit to the west, basically on course for Pamuk, which is another 267 nautical miles away. We're doing five knots right now. If we do 100, 100 to 120 nautical miles in the next 24 hours, then by this time tomorrow, tomorrow morning at like 8 in the morning-ish, we should start looking out for icebergs. Mm -hmm. And then sailing through, not tonight, but tomorrow night, a constant lookout for, for icebergs, like 100% of the time, non yeah. stop. White wedding! <laughs> is it wild? Look at that hair, man! <laughs> this is Aina's bedhead after being home too for 10 hours. That was some wind. <laughs> so did you sleep good? Did you sleep? Yeah. You slept hard, non-stop. You didn't wake up throughout the night or uh, anything, did when you? At first, like, it took me a while to get to sleep because um, I swapped my head to the other end of the, the bunk. Yeah. Because uh, my pillow, I knew my pillow would just keep falling out or I'd keep falling out. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just swapped ends. And uh, I was I was like just in the lee cloth, uh, so I went and I just grabbed like some of my duvet and stuffed that down, and then got it, like a there was an extra pillow and I just popped it in. So then what I did was that wasn't comfortable for a while, so I ended up putting my feet down into it <laughs> and being like curled up into a little ball. Oh yeah, in the lee cloth. And then I was just like that. I was like a little. I was like a little. Uh, uh, I don't know, like a little rabbit or something curled yeah. up in there, and then I went to sleep for a while. Nice. And then uh, I woke up. What the choice are you going up? Yep. And every time I was just like, Greg, I want to go up and do the next one. And my voice just never said it. It just <laughs> never said it. Like, I could just couldn't do it. Uh, I was just being lazy. Um, no, you were getting the sleep that you desperately needed. I needed some sleep. And now you got it. We all. We all got some great sleep, but soon we'll be in Greenland eating foods we've never tasted before, culture that we've never been exposed to before. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> huh? I wonder if they've ever seen this here. <laughs> you know, architecture, history, community, friendship, food, you know, customs, language, it's, it's all going to be new, entirely new. I will appreciate it as well after all that. After all this sailing, yeah. Woo! The flag made it. I was looking at that flag last night, seeing it being whipped so hard. I didn't think she was gonna survive the night, but uh, she's doing just fine. Yeah. So back to your standard operating procedure. Okay. <laughs> 
you want breakfast? Yeah. Could make you a sausage, egg, and cheese on a toasted bagel. That'd work pretty well. Would it? Yeah? yeah. Better than cereal. Yeah, I'll go with cereal if okay. I like, because I mean, I, you know, I'm happy just not to be like, ah! <laughs>